good morning, everybody. I'm glad you are here, and hopefully you are um, watching, and hopefully I can keep up with comments, but I am not sure um, if, if uh, anyone is here yet, but that's okay. We're going to just get started. Uh, even if people don't show up, I it's posted online, so... Uh, I just wanted you to see this, um, last week's painting. I kind of changed this a little bit. Uh, I kind of made um, a change here before, I, and I still have this branch here, and I wanted to show you because I have to fix that, but um, I made the branch come over instead because it was like right on alongside of this birdhouse, and I didn't like that. So... I decided to change it. Um, there was probably a couple other little things I could change here. Um, just the angle maybe of this uh, might need to be changed a bit as I'm looking at it. You know, sometimes you do things and you look at it and it there's something just not right. So, you know, go back and forth to your paintings. Um, sometimes when you're finished, you walk away from it and then you decide to look at it the next day and you see these little things happening. So that's exactly what it was. I saw there was a, that needs fixed here. I need to fix this. And I also put a branch coming in here cause this was just a little, um, bear up here and I didn't care for that. So luckily I didn't sign it because it's really not done and I do have to finish it. So just wanted you to see that before we start today. So what we're going to be working on today, and uh, I, I, I could get in front of the camera, but it would maybe kind of look silly. But uh, we are going to work on a painting uh, of my dog Sally. So let me show you the picture that I printed out of her. Um, This is my dog. Now my daughter took this picture and I love the coloring uh, that came out of this. Like she used a filter and I love this blue through here. It just really looks kind of neat. And uh, Sally um, is a Bichon and uh, I, I adopted her through uh, the Humane Society. Um, I think I've talked to the, about this before. Sally was brought back twice because people um, didn't like the fact that she messed in the house. But of course, then they didn't try to train her because they must have been working quite a bit. And uh, I've trained her to go on the pads because she's not a, she does not like to go outside unless you're uh, going to walk her. So, you know, that's the only time she will go out there. And um, it's not all the time that we walk her because it's, it's kind of hard for us. We're getting older. Uh, and usually after a work day, we're pretty exhausted. So we, we kind of like don't do that. It's it's sad, I, I guess, that that happens. But I wanted you to see her. Oops. Let's go out a little bit just to see. Um, and so this is my, my Sally. And what I've done here is I've posterized the picture. I usually do this uh, a little bit uh, just to give me an idea of the coloring. And you can see that in this picture, there's a lot of blue. There's some pinks, a little bit of purple in here, uh, some yellows. So uh, it's a great mix of different shades, and I, I think we're going to have fun with that. So uh, without further ado, I want to show you that I did trace the picture on, and uh, it doesn't look like much. And that is Sally. Now, uh, I will be putting in some <clears throat> different lines here. Um, now, when I, when I trace, I use tracing paper, of course, and I use uh, a stylus. And this is a stylus. I don't know if anybody has ever seen one of these. But uh, this is a stylus. And what you do is you put your tracing paper down, and then you put your picture on top and you trace on it and this was this was what i did here's the picture right. 
Now, I taped it down and everything. Uh, I just taped the regular picture part of it. But this is your tracing paper. And you always make sure that when you trace, that this side, the shiny side, goes onto the canvas. Okay? In case uh, you're wondering how to trace, that is what I usually do. Um, I can draw some of these things, but I mean, it's so much easier to trace and it's not cheating, so why not do it? I, I, you know, it saves time uh, and it helps you uh, to get things a little bit closer. And for Sally, I just wanted to make sure that I had her done correctly. So I like to put my picture up here when I'm doing anything. And um, I will work on my underpainting as soon as I get... I want to, like, uh, stain the canvas. Uh, we've been doing that lately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stain it with um, red oxide. Just kind of get those warm colors in there, even though there's a lot of blue. Uh, I just think that that will uh, make a nice underpainting here. Okay, so when I do that, as you can see, I put a little bit out. We want to wet it. this one here get it a little wet and get a nice brush that I can brush on it I'm going to just use this number uh, eight flat to do this I'm not mixing anything in just getting it nice and wet A light so that we can still see those nice and what you else else you can do if you like is just spray the canvas we want to be able to see our um, tracing underneath we don't want to cover that up so I started my new job and I am working at a place called AR workshop we will uh, be teaching people how to uh, work with wood products, uh, fabric, yarn, all kinds of nifty things. And my week here hasn't been too great. I, uh, <laughs> I got hurt twice. Um, and I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm usually pretty good with stuff, but this is kind of interesting because uh, we're just trying to get the shop ready. So we're like doing all kinds of woodworking and and uh, different types of things there. And uh, the one, one day we're working on a shelf that was put together wrong and one of the screws were stripped. So the lady was, I was holding the Allen wrench and the lady was a little too uh, excited and twisted the bar and sliced my finger and until yesterday it was still bleeding I got some liquid band-aid liquid bandage and uh, thank goodness that kind of helped it to stop uh, stop <laughs> bleeding and then yesterday, uh, we were working on some things and uh, doing some staining work because you do work with the wood and you have to stain the wood, paint it, all those things. And um, the people that people had come in to hang some shelves and they moved the shelves a little bit differently. And uh, to my dismay, it was like close to where I was working and I got caught on the shelf and fell and I'm a little sore today so hopefully you know I'll be able to handle this and get us through this little painting okay so we're gonna wait till this dries a little bit before we go on to our next part 
and I'm going to just rinse that out, that brush. And wipe my palette here. Yeah, it's, uh, I, and I said I'm not this clumsy. I'm not like that, you know. I mean, I've had my falls and things, but um, my shoe just getting caught on that because I wasn't aware of the change in the actual area how it had changed how they moved the shelves and things like that because I was busy doing one thing and I wasn't paying attention to what they were doing but anyways just kind of recovering a bit okay so if you're here with me, make a comment. Um, I'd like to see that you're on, on here with me. It's always nice to know if somebody's here. I know it's hard for people, you know, if they're working. Most people are working from home again. <sighs> I'll tell you. It's kind of sad when you see a president being more concerned about the election than people dying from this COVID. I, I don't usually get political. I don't like to get political, but I think that's just a disgust to me. It's just disgusting. People are dying and nothing's being done. But we got this new vaccine and hopefully that is uh, gonna be a lifesaver, especially for those frontline workers. get a little bit of um, charcoal so I want to put uh, some lines in here where Sally is not real noticed here so I think this Okay, so what's going to happen is it's just picking up some of the, okay. and I'm just doing this very loose, loose like, all right, and right about here, it kind of comes over. And it goes up. And this is sort of like a bluish shade, which we will be doing because this is from the posturized posturized paint painting. Uh, I usually posturize my pi pictures, oopsies, in Photoshop. So we're gonna notice where the dark spots are, right in here. Uh, some purples, dark. And this is like a red oxide through here. This is more of a umber, raw umber. And this here, um, I'm not sure that I'm going to capture all that. That is actually a blanket, but uh, I may put some some things in here because it's just kind of interesting the pattern and everything. And that comes. Let's see. This goes over, goes down like this. But it does come down this way. It's like folded, folded here. No, oh, here we go. Here we go. That there. And that's where it comes down. Like here. And it comes down that way and um, looks like something here so sometimes after you you know put something on the picture it kind of gets lost so now here I made a little mistake so this is um, is not supposed to be there 
um, this is all going to be dark in here. But what happens eventually is that this is going to be a little lighter. So this is going to all be dark. This looks like a bigger eye. It's just the way the angle is with the um, camera photo. And my daughter actually took this on a um, phone. And then she applied the filters. So... Okay. All right, so we got that in there, and I'm just hoping some of this has dried. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. It dries fast. All right, so what I thought is uh, I'm going to put this up first because I want to be able to see it. No one has stopped in yet. Oh, that's too bad. Well, people, you don't know what you're missing. You get the live of me doing this on camera. All right, so let's see here. I am going to get this turquoise green out. Now, I don't... This is more, more of a turquoise green, maybe with some added white. So today, the uh, painting, we're just going to do the underpainting of all this. Um, add a little white to kind of lighten it up. Because I'm going to be using more white, I will put more of that out. Okay. Just a dab of this. Not too much. Just to lighten it up. And I'm just mixing it. Let's see. That's almost close. Very, very close to that uh, posturized painting. Alright. I'm going to just take my flat brush that I was using. And we're going to just put this in. This is like putting together pieces of the puzzle. puzzle pieces and there's more up and through there but just want to get that hair in there and uh, okay let's see there's something that comes down here that's like part of the uh, Actually, that was part of the um, arm uh, chair, and this is here, and then back here, there's just this blue, too. some of this blue which is a little duller and I think what happens is a little bit of green goes in that and this this is a basics um, and this is hooker's green and I was using the um, Academy turquoise green from Grump Walker this is the basics putting a little bit out here and I'm going to mix just kind of dull it down a little and uh, this will go over here there's not that much difference in this No, 
there's some of this green, but it's brighter, so I'll be adding a little. And because it doesn't go back as far as this picture up here that I am working from, uh, I'm just going to let that be. So, let's see. Rinsing out my brush. Now I'm going to go into my Payne's Gray, which is also Academy Grumbacher. Just put a little of that out. Hopefully, there we go. Didn't have to. And still using the same brush, I'm going to put some of this in with that. A little drink. I've been thirsty a lot lately. I think the air is kind of dry. Kind of. Just letting some of that color of the um, underpainting come through. gonna put his little eyes her little eyes in here because I don't want that coming through I have to get a smaller little brush here to get that in Okay, and her nose. Gotta get that nose in. So all this is kind of um, dark. I'm gonna get another brush, a smaller. Let's see. I'm gonna use an angle brush just to get myself in there a little bit better. This is a one. Um, geez. It's a shader. It's a half inch angle. I'm going to just use that. We'll see how this goes. Now I will be finishing this painting up tomorrow. So I hope that uh, people join me tomorrow for the finishing of this. It's pretty dark through here. Uh -huh. And quite a bit of dark is in through here under her little ear. Follows underneath some of these hair areas. And just lightly coming through here a little bit. And Sally is in the studio with me today, sleeping nicely. I think she's happy I'm home also. And there's some of this um, dark over here. Oh, 
I'm having a hard time bending today. My backbone has quite a bit of pain in it. I get. I think it's from the weather too. I mean, <laughs> this weather changing constantly. It's just uh, one of those things. Okay. Let me get a little uh, violet out. And this is a uh, Master's Touch um, Violet. It's not a heavy body. So just a little bit of that. I'm going to be adding some of the um, white into this. Because it's like a light violet in certain areas. Okay. Just mix it over here. I think you can see that, can't you? Yeah. So I'll mix it and then I'll check it to see, it could be a little darker, how it compares to the um, posturization. I'm going to add a little bit of the turquoise in there. And it just kind of matches, I think, now. I think this will be good. Oh, probably a little darker. Okay, let's put a little bit more of that blue in there. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to get my angle brush again. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it's clean. All right, and I'm going to put some of that purple right around the edge here. in a little bit so I'm just gonna bring it in um, there's some around her little hair around here and even though this is part I don't think this is going to give me too much here um, possibly these little pieces in here will be good. I'm just dabbing them in. Nothing too crazy with that. All right, so we got that in there. Um, Now we have some pinkish color and some yellow color. So, and I want to get some white on this canvas also because a lot of this has a, like a touch of, a, well, it's white. I'm going to put that, I think, can you see that? No. See that. Okay. Now you can see that. Um, white. And I'm going to put a little Payne's Gray in it. Just a tad. Now I'm just mixing this up with my brush. Uh, it's basically white, kind of whitish gray in Sally's coat here. So let's just get that in. Oh yeah, it's starting to snow. Oh goodness. Luckily, the roads, I think they came around early this, this morning uh, to kind of get some of that covered. Okay, so this, 
first that I used before. The flat brush. Okay, I'm going to tap in and kind of spread those bristles apart. You see that? And I am going to tap this in here. Tapping it up into my blue shade. Okay, and there's some of that going right in here. A lot. Because there's other colors that come through. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my blue. Kind of get some white with that. And tap in some white area here. Just tapping it in. Because the way that this looks, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> Just tapping it up into that purpley shade. And kind of bringing it down through here. Okay. Okay. All right. Rinsing that out. And putting the rest of this in here. pretty here. Right in there is a little pinkish shade, so I want to let that happen. There's some greenish shade in through here also. Kind of like a yellow green, so let me get some of that yellow out. Now the yellow that I have is a um, Cad Yellow Medium, and that's a Thick Body Master's Touch. And it is thick. So I'm gonna grab some of my green and yellow. and uh, get my brush again that I was using, the big one. Rinse it out. Kind of do that same thing with the green. Has that yellowish color and that green. in here too, but I'm going to do that a little differently. There's some green up and through here. <clears throat> kind of just going into this. Coming up. And it's like putting together puzzle pieces, you know? All right. Now I'm going to straight green here. And uh, put some straight green in here. Just tapping it in there, even with my little brush here just kind of mixing it in there okay let's go back to the white or gray before I do that I'm going to go into my yellow wait a minute and just put some of that here just tapping it in there and I'm going to get my oxide and put that in here I'm 
there's some of that oxide that is in here. And on her nose. Or this here. Just kind of cover that up a bit. Okay. More oxide. I didn't rinse off my brush. Just kind of getting it there. Okay. I'm going to mix a little bit of my Quinacridone and Magenta with my oxide here because there's more of a um, shade of pinkish as we go through this she has more pink going on but that magenta is pretty doggone strong so we just want to mix it with some oxide and some white we get that shade it is through her her coat here I think that'll be a little bit better for her to just seems to work better all right so in through this area we're gonna put some of this also up in here Okay, and quite a bit of this uh, pinkish shade is through here. So, let's see here. There's also some yellow colors going through here, but I'm going to put this pink in first, and then I'll highlight some yellow also. Kind of just putting those little pieces in, putting those little puzzle pieces in, and curving them. Okay, there's some grayish tones in here also, and it's a little darker than what we mixed. Let's get some of those in here. Some up in here. here kind 
kind of like real dark through here. More like a very almost black shade. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of that kind of dark gray. Kind of mixing it right on my canvas here. This is always the fun part for me. I <laughs> I don't know why, but it it just uh, it's interesting how it all comes together with this. Now Sally has a white coat, so this will be kind of interesting um, how this turns out. I'm going to go into my light gray shade again and start to put that back in here a bit. Almost kind of leaving out some of the, some of that uh, warmth to come through because we do want that to show through a bit. back here under here it's dark dark gray and some pink and under here and here okay okay the pink under here. Some of it's mixed through here. Comes down just like it shows here. Just like that. A little bit here. Some of those little dots. Okay. This is kind of like a darker pink. All right, let's get back to our gray. Kind of neat, isn't it? It's just, uh, it's interesting. To me, it's just interesting how it just kind of like all comes together with this. doesn't look like much, but it will really, it's amazing, like I said, how it all comes together. There is some pink throughout here. 
and we'll put that in and there's also um, some yellow so And most of this hair, it gets to be pink and yellow. There's a little gray in through certain areas here. This may be right here. There's something right here, I believe. And a lot of that is a darker gray. So there's just a little splotch of light gray here. I'm going to get that pink in there more. Now let's put some yellow in too. Let's get some of that in there. Just. Yeah, I think Mondays is my better day to do this, but I had to work this week on Monday, so I couldn't do my live, unfortunately. Okay. Gray. I'm going to get my um, flat again. Separate that a little. We're going to tap this in. throughout here. going to use is this just get the um, without any just tapping some of it in just kind of giving it a texture here and that may change I mean it can change And 
then there's also a darker, darker gray that comes through here. So I'm going to just tap in some of this, get some white. Tapping this in because this this is the texture of the um, blanket. And let's see here. I want to get a small brush. All right, and get some pink. Okay, that's already dried out. And right about here. There's a heart, and I'm just going to put that in, uh, and there's also one over here. And the other ones don't show as much, so there's kind of like a dark pink. Maybe just kind of in here with the round this is a um, zero round so darker comes up in here a little bit okay. and what I'm gonna do after I get this done is I'm gonna retrace this and uh, kind of put my other pieces on so I can see the actual outline of Sally once again because as I do this I'm losing kind of some of her features and I don't want to do that okay let's get some more of this pink this Exactly sure. I'll get that a little bit wet. This should be a little darker here. It has to be a little bit darker. I'll get more of that in there, I think. Comes up over this, it comes up. But, okay. So let's get some of this Payne's Gray, kind of dab in also here. Kind of just kind of getting that in there, just straight paints. Great. Oops. Let's get some of that off of there. Then we'll get some of the pink too. Kind of just gives it that texture that this blanket has, you know. over those. Get some white gray. Okay. Kind of just tap it in there a little bit more with that. And we'll 
look at that pink. It's kind of light gray here, so this just kind of gives it that little bit of texture. That's that little blanky. Okay, I'm gonna get the pink now and put that in there. these different textures to build this up. Okay, some dark gray. Get some dark gray. going through here. Kind of going up to here. It's pinkish gray. So a lot of that gray, lots of grays and greens. Okay, get this in first. Then we can put some of the gray in and the um, green. Okay, let me get some gray here mixed. Okay. So, get some of that in here. through here too. Just a tad here. Okay, and then this is kind of grayish. There's some gray in this area. Gray. This is all part of her ear here. Okay, I want to get those eyes too again because I need to have those pretty dark. So, that's purple. That's no good. Let me get that Payne's gray out again and add 
just get a nice new place here. Okay. Maybe I'll just use this little round brush again because I think I can get that in there better with that. Want that real dark because when I do put the eye in, it's going to need to be. I don't like that. Same with the nose. I want that dark in through the middle. Comes out a little bit. And this, this is entirely dark here. Okay, that's, oops, that's all right. It doesn't matter that that's there. Um, okay, comes down like that. A lot of things going on here. Get this dark again. And this comes up. Yeah, I don't want to lose this darkness because that, that's like the shadow. So, also this. Oh, yeah, it's coming. The snow, it's starting to come real hard now. Okay, so now we got to get some of the yellows in, and I'm just going to use this, continue to use this brush because I can, I can um, pinpoint it a little bit better that way. We have some yellows in here. Um, there's some yellows through here. I think even though that's thick body, I'm going to add a little white to it just to kind of brighten it up a bit. And uh, put some yellow here. Need a little water in that. Okay. Get little pieces of yellow in here just to brighten that up a bit. And I think right in here there's a little bit of yellow. Now we want to get a little green in here also. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get this green. And that's sort of like, yeah, that's like a, I don't know if I can put some. Okay, so there's some that comes around here. That's all right if it's a little darker. Uh, it'll be fine. So just kind of brightening it up a little bit.
little Sally's so cute. She's such a good girl. Friendly little girl and just so lovable. Now, I'm going to get some of my umber out. That's uh, burnt umber. Okay. And that is a Grumbacher. And I am going to use my angle brush here. And that umber is going up and through here. Just kind of putting that in there. is dark very dark in through here and it'll probably light in, lighten up when I do the um, real painting here now if you um, join patreon uh, you can get these tracings for a dollar um, and I think that's pretty reasonable per month. Uh, of course, uh, some people do not think that, I guess. Um, you're getting at least four tracings a month for a dollar. And I've lost people because <laughs> they think I don't post enough. Um, I mean, a dollar isn't that much, but I will. When I was having my surgery, it kind of funny because uh, I wasn't able to post all as much because I had that surgery. But if you would listen and if you do, uh, you know, watch my videos, you'd hear some of the things that were going on with me. Um, I still have swelling in that hand, but it does feel better, which is good. Uh, I'm going to put some Payne's Gray and some of this brown and I don't mean to be rude I mean I'm just saying you know like a dollar isn't much and plus you get all these tracings per month as long as I stay healthy <laughs> which I intend to do And I put the uh, tracings up a few days after the painting so that you can watch the painting and you get an idea of like what's happening. And then um, you learn from what I'm doing and then you can go ahead and paint. I, I think it's always good to watch a video first and then try your hand at it because then you can stop you can um look at what's happening you know what i mean you, you're i don't know if you agree with me on that or not but uh you learn more you just learn more that way okay i'm gonna get a little bit more of my turquoise here and i'm gonna use that flat brush again and I'm going to dab some of this turquoise green in through here just tap 
I tap it in. And then I'm going to tap in my yellow green. Right on top of it. Okay, and I think we have most of this in now that, you know, uh, we'll be able to paint from this. And like I said, what I'm going to do is once this dries, I am definitely going to come back. I want that a little darker. Uh, and put in the... Um, put in the uh, lines again for Sally so that I can get her traced right. And what I'm going to do, I'll have the tracing on tracing paper so I can put over this what I've done because I won't be able to see now if I just use a blank piece. But uh, this is the underpainting and we will work on this again tomorrow, which is Thursday. Uh, you'll probably see this video up at this evening sometime. And I hope that you can join me tomorrow for the live again. Uh, I'm deciding whether I want to continue doing lives or not. Uh, it doesn't seem to be something that, you know, uh, works for me. Some people can do lives and it works for them. But I'm still debating and I am planning to work on some um, things for the new year that if you do join my Patreon, you get something for it, like $5, you might get some stickers, uh, $10, you might get a 4 by 5 picture of uh, a print. So uh, think about that. I mean, it's, it's something that I think might be uh, Bennett be of help, uh, not help, but just to see how I actually do paint these and what, what happens from them. Um, you know, it's, it's all, it's all good, whatever you can learn, you know, if you study somebody's work, um, you, you know, the masters, I mean, they tell you like to, uh, study the masters and maybe even do some of their paintings. Um, that it'll help you to learn. Uh, of course, I've never done that, but I think it would be kind of um, interesting to try to do. Uh, I'm going to put some of that in there, my brown. Kind of just get this like a brown shade here. I do want to let some of that underpainting show through. Okay. Alright, so Sally, the way she looks on my on my screen here, I'm watching, uh, looks pretty good. So, uh, hopefully you like this. Um, if you uh, did, please leave me a comment and you know, maybe let me know what you'd like to, for me to do that's different. Uh, we don't constantly have to do different animals. I can, oh my, it's snowing. And, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know what you like or what you would like to see me paint until, unless you comment. So, if you can comment, that would be awesome. So, uh, maybe you can give me a thumbs up too. I don't know, but it would be nice to have those thumbs up. And see, my hand is looking much better. You can't even see the scar that much now. It's starting to shape up. The swelling's starting to go down. And he said four, four to six months, I'd start to feel better. So he was right. Um, so until tomorrow, tomorrow 10, uh, we'll see you then. Have a good night and good day and stay safe and stay warm. Bye.